Hi folks, Sonia here from Ash Design. Today I want to show you how to use our Warp Text Tool in Photoshop, and that'll come in handy on this Triple Arc Photoshop template. So let's go ahead and start, um, we'll, we'll use this word Senior. And you can tell that the, arc, um, the Warp Text Tool has already been used on this because it's sort of got this arc underneath the T. So we're going to go ahead and just double click on this T that'll highlight our text. And let's change up our text. Okay, um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down my control key or command for you Mac folks and that'll turn my cursor into a pointer here. And I'm just going to sort of move this into place right about where I think it should be. Then if I go to any one of the corners you can see that I get my rotate tool. Let's just sort of rotate that about where it should be. Um, We'll make a couple of adjustments on this, so this is just to sort of ballpark it right now. And then I'll move it right back down here. <clears throat> okay, now the next thing we can do is right click and go to Warp Text. This is going to bring up your Warp Text uh, dialog box. Uh, the first thing we'll see is our Bend tool. Now you can see that this needs to probably be bent a little bit higher, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my, I'm going to highlight that, and then I'm going to use my up and down arrows. Um, to either increase or decrease the bend. So this needs to be increased. So I'm going to go up on my keyboard just increment by increment. And I think 10 might work out pretty well right there. Let's try 11. Uh, 11's not bad either. Maybe we'll stick with 11. Uh, then what we can work on is our horizontal distortion. Now the horizontal distortion um, will dis determine the size between the first letter and the last letter and everyone in between. So let me show you what I mean. Let's let's bring that up so that we sort of get a little perspective on this. And I actually kind of like that right there at 40. And then the last thing we want to work with is the vertical distortion and that'll be to sort of line this up a little bit better. So let's try bringing that down. Nope, let's try bringing it up somewhat. And again, I'm doing it uh, using my arrow on my keyboard, going increment by increment until I get it right where I'd like it. And I think 4 looks pretty good there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say OK. And then it looks like this probably needs to be um, rotated a little bit more now that we've um, gone ahead and done the horizontal and vertical distortion. So again, uh, choose your Control or Command key. And let's just rotate this until it's a little better in place there. I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard to apply that. And I'll go grab my pointer tool now and just to sort of move this into place. And that's it. That's how we use our Warp Text tool. You can go ahead um, and work on uh, editing the next ones. Again, the first thing you want to do is edit your text. Then you want to sort of rotate it, get it into place and go ahead and bring up your Warp Text tool and make the adjustments as necessary.